my name is Darren Guccione. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Keeper Security. We are a cybersecurity software company and we make the world's leading password manager and digital vault solution for smartphones, tablets, and computers. It was sort of a strange story. Uh, my partner and I were in a different business at the time. This is in late 2008. We were on a plane ride to China and uh, during that plane ride we realized that um, the iPhone was coming out with their app store. The iPhone had been launched, they were about to launch the app store, and we were messing around with the first software development kit, and the long and the short of it is we realized that no one in the industry had made a ubiquitous digital vault for storing passwords and other sensitive information on a smartphone, so we decided to build the application and actually built it, the first version of it, um, consequently on that plane ride to and from China, which was about 40 hours of flight time. We got back, we launched it as a free version in 2009, and the rest is history. It just proliferated and took off. The greatest challenge that I deal with every day is keeping everybody on my team focused. It's really easy to get distracted by things that pop up. There'll be fire drills or issues that are completely unplanned um, and deemed unnecessary, but they are necessary to deal with. You just got to snuff those things out quickly and keep moving forward and stay totally focused on really what the core initiatives of the business are. Um, it's also required to have a discipline um, where you can easily say no or not today or never. You have to be comfortable with that because people are going to come up to you and say, hey, you know, I've got this great idea. But if it doesn't really fit within the construct of the company's core initiatives and strategic plan, then you've got to really you know, have the strength to say no, because if you don't focus, you'll die. The best business advice that I've been given, um, I would have to say in technology, is don't stop innovating. And I, I share that in my heart. I live it every single day. What we did today doesn't really matter tomorrow. You're seeing that in terms of the speed at which technology is moving. You know, technology is moving at such an amazing pace today that the construct of laws and governance can't even keep up. And you see that with commerce issues, you know, that are created, whether it be Uber, what have they done to taxi companies, you know, how is ride sharing handled? Um, and it, it, it's, it's, proliferating into cybersecurity too, right? How do you deal with certain mandates across different states, different countries? How are cybersecurity laws getting impacted by the advent of new technologies? And how, you know, is society responding? That is a big challenge in what we do at our business. You know, Target's an amazing example of that. How many billions of dollars in losses, how many people lost their job as a result of it? How about the Equifax breach, right? We saw that the username and password for one of their databases was admin admin. Hackers keep what we call a dictionary list. They know the top 25 passwords that are used by over 50% of the population. Last year, Keeper, my company, did a cybersecurity study and analyzed 10 million passwords. And of the 10 million that we analyzed, the top 25 were used more than 50% of the time by people. One, two, three, four, five, six was the number one password on the list. Password was in the top 10. QWERTY was up there. One, two, three, four, five. Google was a common password. So when you look at this, hackers are really smart today. They don't want to spend a lot of time. They want to breach a lot of accounts in a very short period of time so they can monetize faster. Remembering passwords, waste of time, waste of brain power. Very difficult to create a high strength random password for over a hundred websites and services, which most people have today. When you think about it, you wouldn't believe how many sites and services all of us use today. A keeper, the average customer has over 125 records in their keeper vault. We don't know what they store in there, but most often than not, it's passwords. So can you imagine, how do you remember 125 randomly generated high strength passwords that are going to prevent a hacker from violating your digital assets? Very difficult. So we, we try to make software that makes that 
seamless, super easy to use, and hyper secure all at the same time.